please knock. Clark, there's no loop paper in the ladies' toilets. Again, that's the second time this week. And this is the fifth time you've barged in here complaining about something. It comes down to profit margin. A 30 Clive, there's profit margin and there's making your employees wipe their asses with their hands. Don't ever touch the calculator. Your till was down 14.5% yesterday afternoon, Lindsay. You need to reel them in. Show that lovely smile of yours, those soft pink gums. Piss off, Clive. I'm watching you. Enjoying your visit? Clive, look, I didn't steal the lorry. I say you did, with 100% certainty. Really? Why? A member of staff saw you commit the crime. That is bullshit. They're lying. Who's saying that? Caitlin. But you know I didn't. I'd like you to leave the premises, Mrs. Carter. Walk away. Can you please knock? I didn't do it. Profits are down 12% this quarter, thanks to you. Clive, you need to listen to me. Head office are all over me, making my life a misery. Really? So how would you rate your misery as a percentage? 73. Jesus. Now you listen, Clive. Whatever you've offered Caitlin to testify against me, it's not fair. I'm sorry that we didn't get on when I was working here, but that's no reason to send me to jail. It's not that simple. I need that lorry back. I've told you I don't have it. Myself and head office disagree. Can people please know? What are you doing? Whoa, 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 no, no, don't. What was that? Clive's got hidden cameras in the ladies' toilets. So very ridiculous. I just saw it. That is so disgusting. They're not the only hidden cameras in there. Really? But where else would he...? Oh! That's why he never replaced the toilet paper, so we'd stay there longer. This is ridiculous. Here's what you're going to do, Clive. You're going to drop the charges against me, and then you're going to give me my job back. I can't just... I mean, the missing lorry. The goods are still stolen. So you're going to personally replace every single one. And then you're going to remove the cameras, because if you don't, I'm going to tell the whole world about your little fetish. It's not that simple. I can't just buy those goods back. Clive, you've got hidden cameras in the ladies' toilets. I'd say the chances of us reaching a deal, percentage-wise, was 100, wouldn't you? Apart from the name Randy, which I have a shrewd idea could be an alias, we haven't got a clue who they are. Until now, perhaps. Randy Larchman. He's got angina. He controls it with nitrolingual. It's a prescription drug. He came to me because he left the full bottle at home. Wherever that is. He bought the empty one with him. Nitrolingual. And as it's a prescription drug, it's required by law to show the date, the dispensary. And the name of the patient. Hello, Cecil Kenton. Bingo. Lois Winstead. Sorry, sir. Lois Winstead. Right you are. No need to shout. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Liam. Oh, Ted. Come on in. Will you join me? What? Me dancer? Oh, no, I'm not much of a dancer now. Oh, come on, Ted. Prayer isn't the only way to praise God, you know. And it keeps you fit as well. All right, then. <laughs> you said something on the phone about taking a loan at a car. Uh, yes, he'd be doing us a great favour. Oh, don't be silly. Just take care of it. Don't give it away in a raffle or something. Ha, ha, ha. Um... Somebody said they saw you on television recently, in a documentary. You were in Belfast or something. That wasn't me. That was a younger fella ripped off the idea. Don't like talking about him. <laughs> well, I'd better be heading on. Thanks again. Oh, no problem. Bye, Ted. 